Hey guys, welcome to uh, a tutorial on how to import and export do other crap with uh, Blender animations or whatever. You, first of all, the setup. You want to get the Blender animations thing and you want to go toolbox, go to this thing, the little marketplace, go to plugins and search up Blender. Once you've got Blender, you're going to click on this and then press install. Once you've got it installed, it might not pop up here, even if you go left to right, and that's normal. You want to go to Manage Plugins, and then Blender, Rig, Exporter, and Exporter, and then Importer, whatever the hell, and enable that. Alright, once you've enabled that, you want to go to Avatar, Rig Builder, R6, Mesh Rig, and then you want to just, you know, delete every single thing here. Now that you've done that, you're going to have this. Now, once you've got that done, uh, you want to go to... Go and open Blender. Alright, now you've got Blender open. You want to go to... You want to go to Edit, Preferences. Then go to Add-ons. Go to Install. Go to your folders and go to uh, the little Python thing that you've installed in the comments. When I mean comments, I mean description, obviously, right? You understand that. And then once you've got that done, you want to maybe search up like something like RBX in community, there you go, and enable that. Once you've done that, you want to close your blender and then open the <laughs> open the blender file that is also in the description and then you're going to see this uh, it's going to automatically open rbx animations this is important but for now minimize it like this and you're going to have your little rig here this is the cool part you uh want to quickly press this keying location and rotation and pose mode. You're going to be on object mode, you want to go to pose mode. Now that you're on pose mode, uh, you can see that you can't really chain, you can't really move these. That's normal, that's fine. Also, you want to click on this. Once that's done, you want to go to view, toolbar, and from here, you can actually start animating. So, you know, for now you want some basic stuff, I don't know. So, this works just like Moon Animator, so it's really not too complex. And, um, do something like that. And going up, I don't know. You you really can do whatever you want. I'm just oh, and here you can maybe make it go back to yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Thing with Blender is that it looks definitely slightly smoother for. And there you go, it looks pretty nice. And then to ease, you want to select the keyframes, press T, and then go to whatever you want. I think Bezier looks the best. And there you go, look at how cool that looks. Or then you want to go quad. You want to go this, boom. Or back, which is going to work just like normal. Bounce, which is going to look really weird, but hey, it's cool. Linear, linear, Bezier, just looks really nice. And then this little thing here, depending on your animation length, you want to change this. 
And now we've got our animation, right? Now, once you've got your animation, go to export animation. Once you've done export animation, go back to your studio. And once you're back on studio, open plugins, blend animations, select your rig, and then press import animations. And here it's going to say paste your animation. So you want to press control V. And look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, and then uh, the bonus is that if you want to put this animation into Moon Animator, you want to... Um... Alright, so here you're going to... Uh, obviously my animation is broken, because uh, if I try and import it, well, it just doesn't work. Sometimes this may happen, you want to restart Studio, but I can't be bothered to restart Studio, because I already had the animation saved. So you want to grab this, and then press Upload Animation, and it's going to have this thing, you want to name it whatever you want. Yay. Button mashing. Uh, if, well, you, I already have the animation saved, okay? You will have this as completed, normally. You want to close this, which is going to cancel out the animation. Open the new animator, select him, new rig animation. Go to File, Import, Roblox. The actual thing you named it. And then you've got this animation, which is cool. You, you literally made a normal animation into Roblox, I mean, into Moon Animator. I mean, a blend animation into Roblox, or whatever. Uh, you get it. And then, if you want to ungroup it, you want to press ungroup, press um, 2n, and then press this, and it's going to ungroup every single keyframe. And you can use it, but it's not going to look very... it's not actually going to change anything, actually. But then you can make him actually move afterwards, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's how you import an animation into Roblox and create a Blender Roblox animation. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!